Or as the guy would say, Actually, one of, one of the origins of, of a laugh that I do, you're going to actually find out from this game where it comes from. Yeah? Because it comes from this game. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. So, All right. Fun. So do your intro. Welcome back to another power trip. Welcome back to a side quest. Yeah. We are taking a break from the Nest Library, which has come up with we've we've hit we've hit some walls, but we've we've overcome them. But we just need a break. A little bit of a break. Need a break. It's gonna be a side quest kind of day. Yeah. So I am going to play one of a, a game that I played as a kid that I remember renting from Blockbuster that we have very just positive memories and really good memories of. For anyone who doesn't know what a Blockbuster is, it was a place you could go, a building Aww. where you could rent physical VHSs and, and DVDs, movies. And video games. Media. Mm-hmm. For your pleasure. Because streaming wasn't a thing. No. It was not possible. It was not. Too brick bad, and brick too bad and black, mortar stores. Blockbuster selection sucked compared to like family video and or four nah. star. Nah. Sorry, the ones here. <laughs> when I grew up, no, there was no family video. There was just Blockbuster. Northside. There was family video. Yeah, was there? yeah. Fort not, Fort. not by you, South Side creep. I was, I was yeah. a South Sider. We yeah. were North Siders. Oh, Pick gotcha. And, it was in Pick and Save originally, and then it got yeah. its own thing in the strip mall. Oh, interesting. Pick and Save actually had its own rental as well too. Like yeah. I used to rent yeah, it was from Pick and Save. Four Star. Four Star was original. We, I think we have a couple NES games that still had the Four Star sticker on them. Oh, right. really? Yes. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. But anyway, Trust. yes. Anyways, yes. Today we are going to be playing the Death, Death and, and Return of Super Demand. Man. Oh, that's Spider Man. This is why I'm breaking the sun. I need the power. Supay the main. So, in the early 90s. Developed by Blizzard. Ninth, yeah. Really? <laughs> there it was. <laughs> that's so that's funny the that there was logo. Arrow the Acrobat on there, too. The I didn't realize that was a uh, uh, Sunsoft thing. So, in uh, 1992, it actually was. The big. The big event in Superman and all DC in general was the death of Superman. Really? At the hands of Doomsday. Mm. Doomsday comes from outer space. Nobody knows where he came from, but he has got a heart on and wants to destroy. <laughs> He's got a heart on for Superman. Yeah. And he wants to destroy Superman. And. Uh, no, he has a heart on for Kal El. Kal El, whatever. And they basically they battle to a standstill and they end up. Basically killing each other. Hmm. My and God! Look at those bad guys. Look at Horseman over on the right. I know. <laughs> yeah, he's like a horse hybrid. Looks like a job for. You're da, gonna, da, da. You're gonna enjoy some of the names of the villains, though. Sweet. It's they're, they're puntastic. <laughs> to say the least. Siege of the Underworlders. <laughs> Big Apple, 3 a.m. Big Apple, 3 a.m. <laughs> so, oh god. Rambo. Rambo. Ah! <laughs> so funny. I didn't know this was a beat em up. It is, yeah, totally beat em up. So, why? And actually, this was such a fucking this era thing. It really was. Let's make all comic book characters beat em ups. It, it, yeah. For the well, most part, yeah. Especially characters like this where it doesn't make sense. Batman. Well, Batman made sense. You had Spider Man. See, those two make sense. Yeah. This is Superman. Where's Superman this? could do it too. Yeah, he but he'd be beating these people up way quicker than this. With laser beam eyes. And frost breath. He's a and fucking he's a fucking legend. I think I, and super speed, you just used one of your specials. I sure did. That's the one thing, like, I never understood. Um, jump. I feel like no, I know that. I'm just there he does. He does have the eye beams. I never understood Superman yeah. in game context. Ow. He is basically an and all actually, powerful beam. And actually you can fly by jumping twice. Yeah. yeah. And he yeah, and he flies. So it's like how can you beat Superman? Come like, on, how can dude. he get beat up? Ah. Being stronger than him? It, it's just stupid. Like, Superman is such a fucking one-note character. I've never understood why anyone would like Superman. 
Although I do like that touch, how you can throw him in the background. That yeah. reminds me of like, well, uh, what is it? Return of Joker? I, uh, the beat him up one or which, which no, one? Was Batman, it? Batman Returns. Yeah, Batman yeah. Returns. I'm actually going to be doing that a lot because you can get hidden items and stuff and usually like life ups and, yeah. and sometimes one ups. That's such a cool touch. But I don't though. think that they, I don't think that they do that. God damn it. I don't think did that you they lose do a that. life on I, level I one? I sure did. Wow. I told you, it's been a long time since I played this game. I like the guy with the Gatling gun. <laughs> yeah. So, he is but, insanely uh, buff. Whoop, and somehow I need to whoop, land it between. Pizza! Whoop. That's an extra um, I, I, an special. Extra, yeah. Yeah. You could have thrown a cellophane ass. Yeah, really. Oh, cool. What was that one at? Was that the, the was that three? Chris, three through the cellophane ass? Oh my god. And his name I forgot. His name is Igor. Igor. Ha! That is a little bit of uh Were these actual Batman enemies? Batman? Batman? Superman. We're playing Sorry. Superman here. Were these actual Superman enemies? Uh Rambo. No, not really. I no. okay, so they took creative liberty like T M N T one did. Yes, ow. Got it. Yeah, they sure did. Would you, Igor, knock it off? That was the one thing I really liked about like the TMNT beat em ups was the fact that a lot of the enemies were were the same from, from their actual enemies. Yeah, like the pizza monsters, the foot soldiers, foot soldiers. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't like TMNT one where you're fighting weird spiky hedgehog in the cave. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, or, or the or the frog, yeah. the killer frog, or the guy with the with chainsaw. the mask and the chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, what the. F Tick. So weird. So what was it about this game that you love so I much? I think it's just the fact that it was a beat em up. I loved beat em ups. You did have a also you do have a penchant for beat em ups in this era. But also in um, when I was uh, this age, I was into comic books, huge into comic books, and um, I didn't really know the whole like death um, and return of Superman type storyline. Mm -hmm. um, but I just, I, it was the, the biggest thing in comics at the time. It was advertised all over the place. And um, honestly, the, the, the actual issue with the death of Superman was Superman Volume 2, number 75. Mm -hmm. And it was probably one of the best selling comics of all time. Really? It just well, it sold a lot of, of issues. Was it the best, co the best thing of all time for the right reasons? Was Honestly, it because it was actually a good storyline? Because I know this, so as we have mentioned, this one is basically responsible for almost killing off the, so the death. So the death of Superman was a great storyline. Okay. I think it was great. The uh, the the um, return of the Superman, or uh, what was it? Um, Reign of the Superman was like all the different Supermans coming coming back to kind of take his place mm -hmm. so that um, everything was still like protected. Um, that went a little bit longer than it really should have, mm -hmm. and it wasn't that great overall, but I honestly think that the death of Superman storyline, it was told over six or seven issues, it was really well done. It was, it was a great, it was a great series. And, um, yes, it, it, it cannot be understated the death of Superman was basically almost it, it single-handedly almost destroyed the comic book industry because of the speculators um, so basically what they were saying is that um, so at the time like around this area era, era the um, Action Comics number one, which was the first appearance of Superman, mm -hmm. sold for a grotesque amount. It was like tens of thousands of dollars, which is now a I mean, lot of money back then. But, uh, yeah, but nowadays that comic book is worth like in in great shape. It's worth like three point two million dollars. Holy shit! It's yeah, it's very very expensive. I would imagine um, even a not so great copy is still worth quite. Oh, a, quite it would a bit. still be worth yeah six figures at wow. least. And so people thought that comic books were something that you could hold on to them and then they will eventually be Worth really something. rare, desirable, and you could sell them <clears throat> for just a mint. Hmm. They didn't realize that it came out at a time where when World War II happened, people were donating all paper to the war effort. And comic books in general were just, I mean, they were disposable they were disposable um, entertainment. Yeah. You didn't collect comic books to like collect them and hold on to them. You read them and then you basically just you threw them away. Like, kind of like a newspaper. Yeah. You didn't you didn't actually save them. And so people didn't realize that they were expensive because they were just they were rare. There weren't that many copies 
out there anymore. Hmm. And so they thought people started buying up, like, oh, the death of Superman. Well, his first appearance was this much, so that means that his death, that's going to be really super expensive. <laughs> so people were buying this, like, 5, 10, 20 copies at a time. Well, it also doesn't help the number of issues they produced of it. Ex well, exactly. <laughs> Not to mention, exactly. people clearly didn't realize that in the comic book world, a death means nothing. Bingo. And they didn't <laughs> realize that if Superman... is cute. Yeah. If Superman died, it's like they didn't think that he could just come back. They just thought, oh my god, like this this landmark character, he's... God damn it. He's, uh, he's dead. He's dead for good. There's no coming back from death in comic books. <laughs> And uh, little, yeah, little did they know that that's definitely not the case. No, as as many comic book characters have proven, death is not they, the end. Death does not stop them. Clearly, Absolutely. people have never watched Dragon Ball Z. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course, so, that wasn't a thing. So when he came back... Actually, it already was at the time. Basically, people really? thought, okay, well, this speculation, like, obviously this comic is not going to be worth as much as we thought, so we're going to get out and try and sell it as, as quickly as we can. Yeah. People tried to sell it, and then they realized they couldn't sell it to anybody because everybody who wanted one got one because <laughs> there was millions and millions of copies out there. Wow. So the speculation dried up. Uh, Marvel and DC, which were used to selling like potentially hundreds of thousands and close to a million issues like a, a, a month of a certain title, were now only selling like half of that, if okay. not a quarter of that. And so. Um, Marvel in 1996 actually had to file for bankruptcy, and DC, <laughs> if they had not had their parent company as um, Time Warner, they would have probably have gone. They would have uh, folded. They, they would have. They would have been uh, in the same boat as well. Really? Oh, hey, why not? DBZ started in '89. <clears throat> Get out of here. Get over here. Molotov. Oh, that's we just didn't original. get over here until like. Oh well, yeah, we didn't get the 90s. great translations. Oops. This level looks familiar. Does it? <laughs> Well, what, a bridge like... level and a beat em up? No! <laughs> it's, just, it's very reminiscent of the TMNT level with the chain balls that come down. Somewhat. Yeah. Let's see. 